Welcome to the Cheese Kitchen. I'm Kat and this is Paul. We're both from Nimbin Valley Dairy. On the last episode, Paul showed you how to make halloumi. Today I'm going to cook it. The halloumi has been soaking in brine for about two hours. And what I'm going to do now is just slice it up into cookable, friable size pieces. So I'm going to slice our halloumi into about half a centimetre to a centimetre size slices. And I do this so that basically once it goes into the pan and you get a lovely char fry on the outside, the beautiful amount of golden colour, you've got some soft, squishy, squeaky goodness on the inside. Oh, okay. So firstly, in the pan, I'm going to heat up my pan to really quite hot. Like I like it's pretty much as hot as you can get it without burning the house down. So after slicing your halloumi, pop it on a bit of paper towel to just drain off a little bit of the excess brine. Give it a little bit of a pepper season if you like. I usually don't put salt on halloumi because I feel like I can't control the salt level till afterwards. So I'll cook it and get it ready and then we're good. For the asparagus, I just take the bottom off and cut them in half. And my pan over here is getting really hot, so be careful doing this one. So pop the oil in, and you want it to kind of look like it's a bit smoky. And at that point, chuck in your couple of bunches of asparagus. What you want that to do is hit the pan really, really hot. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just leave it. Try not to move it too much, stir it too much. And it's going to give it that nice, nutty, beautiful barbecued flavour that asparagus works so well with. So now we just keep cooking the asparagus until we've got a nice sort of darky brownie on the outside. But you want to keep it firm on the inside. You don't want soggy, non-crunchy asparagus. Whilst that's cooking over there, I'll just cut a couple of tomatoes in half. Basically, I want nut from the asparagus, acid from the tomatoes, and fat from the cheese. So as you can see now, I'm getting a bit of a char on the asparagus now. So I'm going to take that out of the pan. And that's all ready to go in our dish. So next thing you'll do is get the pan back to hot again, to quite hot bit of olive oil. Now, here's where you want to make sure that you've drained off as much of the liquid of the halloumi as you can. Okay. Because getting into such a high heat, liquid will obviously splat. Pop that in, into the pan, on one side, and try and get a good amount of heat into it. All you're basically trying to do is get the colour on the outside of the halloumi, and nice and cooked in, on the inside. So that happened quite quickly. So a nice golden colour on the outside. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Master Chef. <laughs> Getting a good golden colour on one side of the halloumi usually means by the time you've turned it over, the pan's cooled down. You yeah. turn it over. And I call it just giving it a little kiss on the bottom. Right. So you don't need to go for the same amount of heat. You don't need to go to, for the same amount of cooking time at all. A little bit of pepper to finish, a little bit of lemon juice, and that'll come out of the pan quite nicely now. So that can go just straight on top of our asparagus. And while that pan's still really, really hot, or quite hot, and it's got a bit of lemon juice and it's got a bit of halloumi, throw in your tomatoes and try and get a bit of a burn on that as well. Give the tomatoes a flick. Bit of salt. So as the tomatoes are char grilling, I'll just cut up a bit of basil and a bit of coriander, and we're ready. Throw that into the pan as well. Give it a flick. If you haven't got enough of a sauce, pop in a little bit of the olive oil, a little bit more of the lemon juice, and pour that over the top. 
So here we have a really simple, easy dish you can make with the halloumi. Thanks for that. That looks delicious. I can't wait to get into that with some bread. We hope you like this dish as well. We can't wait to see you in the next episode when we'll talk about cheese maturation, which is the next step in our little cheese journey. Thank you. Thank you.